Always say your prayers. Why you keep stealing my shit? <laughs> hi you guys welcome back to my channel everybody what's up y'all okay today on the menu we have authentic real true mexican food and no it's not taco bell and no it's not taco cabana and no it's not chipotle okay this is real authentic mexican food and this restaurant was also um, premiered on Triple D. The Food Network, um, Guy Fieri, came to El Paso just to come to this restaurant. This restaurant is called Kiki's Mexican Food and Cafe, or bar, or something like that. <laughs> and I hope you all like my artificial um, jingle balls. I literally took this off my Christmas tree and hung them on my headband. Okay, so I showed you all the food. Um, I'm <laughs> we got humongo burritos, tacos, uh, flautas. We have chili rellenos, um, really cheesy beans, rice, um, uh, chicken and beef or chicken and brisket marchaca. Or I, I don't even know how to say it, you guys. Um, they're homemade, authentic. Uh, that's guacamole and tons of chips and their salsas and um, we're gonna do some shots on a side. This is my favorite, one of my favorite vodkas. So I'm gonna do some shots for you guys cause you can't have Mexican food without a couple of shots. And yeah, I voted and you guys said Mexican food. So here it is. Okay, I'm gonna pray and we're gonna get in this. <laughs> So excited i'm so hungry okay thank you father for this food bless this food and sanctify it by your word in jesus name i pray amen and always say your prayers and if you guys have not noticed right here i have oh my god this thing is freaking huge and ginormous i try to fit everything in frame and it's like it's like impossible but okay we have the coldest water bottle right here. And if you guys go in my description box, there are two websites. One is for to enter the giveaway to get your uh, free um, coldest water bottle. Or you can go on their website and enter the word coldest. Uh, yeah, that's my new little sidekick. And um, it's so cool. Look, it says sauce queen on the side, you guys. I love it. So no more plastic water bottles. I'm sure it's going to make some of you happy. I'm gonna have this in my videos every single time. So, and I love that color, loved it, love it. All right, I'm, I'm digging in, I can't take it. I'm done, these balls are gonna come off in a minute. I can already tell you, especially after some shots. <laughs> I told my mom, I'm like, <laughs> oh, my daughter did my background. Um, yeah, Brooklyn, she's so cute, oh my God. She's like, um, and mom, do you need some help with the background? I said, yes. I said, I'm doing something different today. I'm going to pin, I'm, I'm gonna do something different. So she's like, well, I can help you. So while I was gone getting this food, you guys, I came back and this was like this. It's so cute. It's not professional, but it'll do. And I love it. And I told my mom I'm wearing Christmas balls off my Christmas tree because I can't wear earrings because um, I'm allergic to them. So I can't wear earrings. So. I wore these as earrings. <laughs> all right, I'm a cheers to you guys. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching me and uh, enjoying my videos. So, 
<sighs> and there's gonna be a lot of cussing because I have a story time and it involves a lot of cussing. So if you don't like cussing, you might not want to watch. And guess what? The only chaser I have for this. <laughs> oh God. I don't have pickle juice. I'm just gonna use some Clemato. If I have to, I'm gonna try not to. So here goes. Shot number one. And you guys already know I have this on the side, like get real. <laughs> and all this is supposed to be hot and cheesy and cheese pulls, but this place was not close to me, so it's not going to be. Cheers to you guys, okay? I have nothing on my stomach and this is going to hit me hard. Let's get tipsy. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. <sighs> oh my God, it burned all the way down. <sighs> I haven't eaten. <sighs> I have not eaten anything. <laughs> In a long time, so that was look. okay. That was gross. This is dark queso, so this food is supposed to be phenomenal. So we'll see. down <coughs> that's spicy it's really good add the chips down there so you can't see them but I'm gonna taste their guacamole look at that huge mm. Mm -hmm. mm. that's really good They have a huge, ginormous thing of, um, I got a pocket to see that. <laughs> There's salsa, but they say it's supposed to be really, really hot. So I don't think I'm going to be trying that. But I want to taste their, I'm going to do another shot too. Don't you worry about that. Mm-hmm, 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 That's really good. Mm. Okay. Mmm. Shot time. <laughs> I tell my mom, I'm like, um. <clears throat> I said I'm doing real authentic Mexican food tonight. And she's like, oh my God, I'm so excited. And I said, but there's going to be shots involved. And she goes, oh God, why do you do this to me, Kristen? You know, I don't like watching your shot videos. 
but I told her I'm only taking three. So I forgot to show you. I look so white in this in this lighting. I don't understand it. I'm really not this pale, you guys. I'm not. For some reason, I look it in my videos. This, you guys. <sighs> this is their crab enchiladas. Like, are you kidding me right now? There's crab in there. So, yeah. this is what I didn't show in the beginning. But, I'm going to be tasting that for show <laughs> before this video ends. And these are grilled jalapenos right here. You guys know I can't deal with spice, so I'm going to try them anyways. Oh my God, it's going to be a long ass video. I have a story time to do to tell, but all this food, and I'm so hungry. And I also want to get fucked up, so... <laughs> You know, the, you know the point where you come in uh, and be like, um, I'm so hungry, my stomach's hurting, and I feel like shit, and I'm shaky, and I need to eat, but I also want to get fucked up, so um, where do you draw the line? Someday, both. I'm just kidding. And no, I'm not. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I told my mother. <laughs> Ooh. Nope, I'm not going to take that. Ooh, chaser, I could do it. I could do it. Okay. I told my mom that there was only going to be um three shots involved. So she's like, okay, well, I can deal with three shots. Okay, look at this chili reno. Oh, my God, I want to try it so bad. Look at it. You guys probably can't even see it. No, of course you can't. Alright, this story time is um it's perfect actually to tell right now because this time of year last this time around last year. Um, yeah, let me just tell you what happened. Chili Reno. Mm. 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 That is delicious. So the story time has to do with, um, whew, those shots. <laughs> Every year, me and my family, we take the holidays very, very, very seriously. Like my family is freaking nuts. They are nuts. They're nuts over the holidays. They are. And so every year, um, this tradition in our family originally started out with my great grandmother, my grandmother, then my mother, and then it passed on, of course, to me and my children and my family. But, oh my God, this food, I can't take it. I can't take it. Mmm. <clears throat> I'm sorry, that case so spicy. <laughs> okay, mom, I told you I'm only doing three, so third one. And then I'll continue, well, my story. Chili is spicy. No shit. It's a 
Okay. This is their, um, some kind of specialty burrito. Ugh. Uh, oh. Mmm. Mmm. That's brisket. Why is that spicy too? I got one, um, what was it? I got one specialty burrito and then one like, um, chicken burrito. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> like really. <laughs> I wanted to be Christmassy, okay guys? <sighs> this is the best sugar. <laughs> Fun. Now, if I put some sour cream on this chili every day now, I think it'll be really, really better. Good. <clears throat> so normally, um, throughout the years, our families are, you know, I go to Fort Worth, Dallas, Fort Worth, to be with my family and his family because uh, the hair. Both of our families live in Dallas, Fort Worth. So... Every year for Christmas and New Year's, me and him travel down there and we see our families. Well, it basically ends up being like me and him with my family on um, New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve. Or it ends up me and him being with his side of the family um, for New Year's Eve or Christmas Eve. It never can work out where we're all together at one time so it's it's really frustrating so we gotta you know we gotta take turns we gotta share each other's sides of the family well this oh, whoo, those shots this one year um which was last year we all actually got to be look at that jelly you know together for the holidays i'm about to push my hair back because it's getting my freaking hair. Hold on. Uh, my ball's going to fall off. If I do that, uh, okay, that's better. So last year, we made it happen where we were all together and it was amazing. Like, that's never happened ever since I've been married to my husband. We have never been able to, you know, make that happen. So we we're all together and I actually, you guys, I have a video. I will link the video in my description box of this New Year's Eve disaster fucking nightmare. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, we did a video on it, but the video was absolutely fucking terrible. I was six months into starting my channel. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Um, <laughs> I'm so good. And I was so excited to actually film a video with my brothers. I have two brothers. And, um, so we sat down and we did a video of I think it was Applebee's. Yeah, it was Applebee's and it was it was like 100 wings. And this was my, what was it? I can't remember. I was celebrating some kind of subscriber account number. Um, I was six months into my channel and I, did, I was, you know, still brand new trying to figure things out. So I, I think it was 50K I was celebrating. I could be wrong. It could have been 20K. I don't know. See, I can't remember. But anyways, 
I was celebrating some kind of, you know, subscriber account and it was New Year's Eve so I'm off said we're celebrating New Year's Eve too <laughs> me and my brothers did a video together with my son Aaron Ugh, this is choking me get off go down <clears throat> So, um, I had my Yeti mic. This was when I, when I first purchased it. Like I didn't, I didn't know how to use it. I just got it from Best Buy. Uh, me and my husband just purchased it before I went to Fort Worth because I knew I was going to do a video with my brothers. So I'm like, you know, we, we need to step this game up. I need a, I need a mic. So I got the Yeti mic. I, I didn't know how to use it, which is what I'm using now, but at the time, you know. So, <laughs> you guys got to watch this video, but I'm warning you, when you... Whew, those shots in the food. When you watch the video, um, we were so drunk, out of our minds, it was terrible. I didn't realize, but I had the Yeti mic. The gain was turned up all the way. The volume was turned up all the way. Everything was on top like to the max and i had the yeti mic on the table with uh what me oh three three ass drunk people me and my brothers my son was there um and it was just and we had a lot of people in the background because we we're at my mother's house and It was the worst video ever, but it's freaking hilarious. <laughs> and so let me tell you what happened during that video. I titled the video Lost Footage because there wasn't lost people. You see, why does my brain do this? I think it's because I'm 40, but there wasn't lost footage, people. There, <laughs> no. There wasn't. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be up front. And I'm going to say I told a lie. I said in that title that, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, you guys. There was lost footage. So blah, blah, blah. And the video had to be cut, uh, cut off shortly. The fuck? Okay. I'm gonna try one of their tacos. Anyway, I said there was lost footage and the video had to be cut off shortly. Well, that was a big fat lie. Um, because of what went down and it was so terrible. So that's what I'm telling you guys, like right now. Mm. Mm hmm. Wow. Oh my god. The beef taco is so good. Mm. I can't beef. I think it's, it, no, it's brisket. I'm sorry. It's a brisket taco. There's a fucking piece of hair. It's really pissing me off. See? A brisket on the bottom. It's a brisket taco. really difficult to eat until it's story time so I'm sorry I apologize but I'm trying I'm hungry and I want to tell a story too
This brisket taco is probably the best I ever had. If there was somebody next to me right now, I'd slap him in the face. That's how good that was. So whoever, whoever you're next to right now, slap him in the face. <laughs> I'm just kidding, though. But that's how good this food is. Mm. So I lied about the lost footage. I, I I apologize. I'm sorry. I had to. There was no other option for me. I had to lie about it because I was so mortified and embarrassed. Um, halfway through this video, I can't even remember how long this video was. It was last year and um, I was so drunk. We were all so, so drunk, you guys. And this is why, you know what? Drinking is... I love it. I fucking love it. Like, hello, bitches. <laughs> I love drinking, okay? But you you really gotta do it in moderation because if you don't, shit happens, people get hurt, and possibly worse, and people make dumb decisions. So, like right now, if you're at home alone, or not home alone, but if you're at, at home in the comfort of your own house, yeah, hell yeah. Oh, there was some still in there, Phil. This is number three, Mom. So we're doing good. It's okay. Then there's no problem in it, you know? But if you're at someone else's house or you're at the mercy of someone else or you're, you know, out in public, not cool. You need to cap that shit off. Excuse me. But if you're in the comfort of your own home, like, do it. <laughs> this food is phenomenal. Okay. Third shot. Um, so yeah, I had to get up and turn the video off. We were having a great time. We were eating a hundred wings from Applebee's. It was delicious. I ordered sides with the wings. It was me, my brother, my brothers and my son. We were all four in the frame. We're eating these hundred wings. Uh, um, of course, we were taking shots in between, you know, because it was New Year's Eve and we we're celebrating New Year's with all you guys. But my mic was set so loud. And with a mic set to top peak and a bunch of drunk people, that does not mix well. So when you guys watch this video, if you choose to, you need to turn it down like to level two <laughs> volume set on whatever device you're watching, do not wear headphones. Do not when you're watching this video because it's that outrageous. But <clears throat> yeah, and then like right in the middle of the filming of, you know, our video, fights broke out. Uh, people were, oh my God. So I got up. And I'll tell you exactly what happened. I got up and I shut off the the filming and that was it. So I ended it like that. And then my, you know, sauce queen, you know, thing came up at the end. And, and like comments were like, uh, what the heck happened to the video? Like, hello. I had to shut it off because everybody got into physical fights, you guys. I'm not even playing. Everybody was beating each other up, fighting cussing yelling screaming it was all right hold on <laughs> mama sauce it's number three okay i'm dead <laughs> oh <my> god <laughs> I'm sorry, but I cannot try their spicy salsa because I know it's going to be too hot. So, this is their, yeah, 
this is the brisket one and this is the oh god i thought I, this is the steak one and brisket so yeah That's really good. <clears throat> but for some reason, that bitch is spicy as fuck. What the hell? <sighs> so, okay. And we're filming my sister-in-law, my brother's wife, my youngest brother, is married with two children, Jason. Um, so... In this video, if you guys watch it, which I will, you know, I told you I will link um, in my description box. Just click on it and go watch it. But <clears throat> Jason is my youngest brother and he was sitting on the right of me. And my oldest brother was sitting on the left of me. So it was my oldest brother, Marcus, here, me here, my youngest brother, Jason, here. And then on the other side of my youngest brother, Jason, was my son, Aaron, <clears throat> the one that gave me a granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> the one that made me a grandma. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so we were all having a great time laughing our asses off, eating these wings, um, cracking jokes, you know, wishing everybody Happy New Year. My oldest brother, Marcus, such a sweetheart. He's such a sweetheart. Oh my God. He kept trying to, like, give me shout outs, like, in between, you know, each time we were talking or whatever. This is the sauce queen, you guys. Thank you so much for loving her and, you know, subscribing to her. We love you all so much and I can't believe it. Thank you so much. Like, he was, you know. And me and Jason, my younger brother, were being drunk asses and just taking shots left and right and laughing hysterically. And, um... I don't know, you guys You guys can just watch it and, you know, <laughs> check it out for yourself. But, okay, this salsa is going bye-bye because I know I'm not, all this shit over here is really spicy anyways. So, <clears throat> um, so when the video ended, this is what happened. I was so worried and petrified that my Yeti mic that was on the table, because I was drunk as fuck, and I was a beginner YouTube. I was six months into my channel, so I really didn't know what I was doing. Um, I was so worried about um, background noises, and there was a lot of people. There was a lot of people there. There was, you know, children. There was, um, of course, my kids, my brother's kids. There was my sister-in-law, there was my nieces, my nephews, um, there was a bunch of people in the background, my parents. So I told them when we start filming, can you guys please, you know, keep it down, be quiet so we can actually film this video. They're like, okay, sure, no problem. But the drink started flowing as soon as we got there, you know? <laughs> so we were already drunk when we started this video. Oh my God. So my sister-in-law, my daughter-in-law, and my niece were like off to the left in the corner. They were watching us while we were filming this video, you know, and they were like, you know, giving us heads up and like thumbs up and, you know, like smiling at us, making face at, faces at us, trying to make us laugh, stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> so in my drunk ass mind, in my paranoid mind, I thought, because they were like talking amongst each other. And I, I was thinking, oh my God, they won't shut up. They're ruining this video. Like, <laughs> they're talking. Like, seriously, go upstairs or go outside. Like, go away. We're trying to do a video. <laughs> the whole freaking time, I'm, I'm concentrated and worried about them making, ruining the video. When in fact, it was not them. You couldn't even hear them. 
It was all of us. We were so fucking loud and so drunk and so obnoxious and so, oh my God. Mm. I had to edit out so many times. You can tell that video was edited out like a million times because the day afterwards, I was like, this video is shit. I really don't think I'm going to upload it. Um, I don't need to, but um, so I cut. The video was like an hour long, but I cut it like down to in half. So, uh, cold as water boil. <clears throat> I'm gonna drink some water and then I'm gonna take my third shot, mom. So you don't have to worry. <sighs> so during the video, you guys can see me like nudging my brother. Um, which was his wife that was standing over there in the corner. I'm like nudging him. I'm like whispering to him and I'm like getting like dirty looks, you know, you can, you could tell in the video. <laughs> I feel so bad. I feel so terrible. <clears throat> oh my God. It's so ridiculous. So I was telling my brother, I said, cause I kind of like gave them like a, hey be quiet we're filming like kind of look and you know i even went like hello i cut that part out and so they were over there drinking of course not my niece my um daughter-in-law and my um my sister-in-law they were drinking my niece was you know she she wasn't of age <laughs> to drink yet so I'm like telling i got really pissed off and i got annoyed because i thought my video was ruined when in fact it so I told Jason, I'm like, this was what I cut out in the whole video. I said, so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so, because they don't want their names being used in my videos. I said, yo, dude, fuck. <laughs> We're trying to film here. Can you shut the hell up? Can you go outside and talk? Can you finish your conversation out there? Or can you go upstairs? Like, what the hell? <clears throat> so... My sister-in-law, which she's a bitch, she is a bitch, and she will tell you straight up. She'll say, I never claim to be nice, and yeah, I am a bitch. Yeah, she'll tell you. So she is. But she, she, you know, I told her basically shut the fuck up, and she kind of looked at me, and she gave me like a glare. And then during the middle of the filming as well, she gave Jason a glare and he goes what's your problem like during the video i cut this part out too and she goes fuck you fuck you and like she get, she storms outside and <laughs> and so i was like I, I was shocked i was just sitting there like what the hell mm-hmm so my brother gets up in the middle of filming this video he gets up of course he goes after her like he you know that's his wife and she stormed outside and he was like where the hell is she going so he went after her and i was like what the fuck is going on my video is ruined mm -hmm. i actually started crying <laughs> because I was that drunk, okay? I was that drunk. Mm-hmm. Um. <clears throat> My older brother, he's like, no, 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 no. He calls me little mama. He, he's always called me little mama. So he's like, no, little mama, it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Don't worry about it. So then I cried for like a second, just like a very second.
This is in uh, the other taco. So I get up and that's when I shut the film off. And then um, um, I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I hear, okay, first of all, let me just tell you right now, my family has amazing family oriented, just loving, the most memorable, amazing holidays ever. I've, that's how I grew up. And, um, so this was our first, uh, family fuck up. Like, this was our first, like, oh my God. <laughs> you don't even know how much liquor we had in this house. We had so much liquor. It could have been like, um, the biggest ass bar in like the biggest city. That's how much liquor and beer and alcohol we had at this house at this time. So that was the biggest mistake. And also, you have people in house that can't, can't control themselves. So, yeah, it's gotta happen. You guys wanna buy that? My brother goes after her. <clears throat> I'm like, what the hell? So I get up, shut the video off, and I go outside looking for my brother and my sister-in-law, right? I step outside, and I hear screaming and yelling. Like the worst, screaming and yelling, like from both of them. And I'm like, oh shit, oh god. Even though I was so drunk, I, I knew like, when you're that drunk and like something, you know, terrible happens, you kind of like, waked up. <clears throat> so I heard them both like screaming, yelling and fighting. And I was like, oh shit. So I just came back inside and I walked in the house and I was like, um, I said, it's really, really bad out there. And I was like, I was calling out to my older brother. I said, Marcus, they're out there fighting. They're yelling and screaming. I said, go out there, do something. Um, so he was like, all right, all right. And then, you know, my husband's in the kitchen and I'm like, a oh, babe, like shit's going down for real. And he goes, so who wants another drink? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I said, what's wrong with you? He goes, hey, this is a normal holiday for me and my family. <laughs> if someone's not fighting, it's not a holiday. So I was like, I was shocked. I was just like really. So, <clears throat> oh, let me say right now in the beginning, my mom and dad. Um, okay, we had family time. We had, you know, I know this this, this story is everywhere. Please bear with me. I mean, I've taken some shots, but um, when we first got there, we all mingled as a family. We had our orders. We had our, you know amazing um christmas eve food and family time and all that um with the children right with with the my my children my brother's children so then my dad <laughs> my dad already knows you know shit's gonna go down so these children don't need to see this so he told, um, he told us all, he said, hey, um, when the adult party, you know, time is supposed to take place, commence, I'm going to take these children to Jason's house and we're all going to just chill there and, you know, watch Christmas movies or whatever. And, um, yeah, I'll babysit them so they don't need to see or be involved in all this adult drinking and drama. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> Um, shortly after my video got shut off, my dad realized what was going on. So he's like, okay, kids, let's go to Uncle Jay's and let's go do this and do that. So he packed the kids up, lickety split, <laughs> and he took all the young kids that were under 18, um, excuse me, to my brother's house. Mm 
So immediately, the kids love with my dad. spicy queso. <clears throat> so once I knew, like I had in the back of my mind, like there's children here, like, you know, you know, we're not going to do this. So as soon as my, I saw my dad, um, because when I, That queso is really, really delicious. The flavor is really good, but it's, I think it has jalapenos in it. It's spicy. So when I went outside to find my, my brother and my sister-in-law, my dad was already packing up um, the van to take the kids out of the scene because yeah, shit was going down and he knew it. He wasn't gonna have any part of the kids being involved in that. So as soon as I saw my dad leaving with the kids, I was like, oh, I haven't, I haven't like passed him. I said, thank you, dad. I hugged and kissed him. I said, thank you so much. I said, I'm so sorry. He goes, no, 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 no. It was fine. So he took all the little children and he left, went to my brother's house. You know, that was a plan anyway from the beginning. My brother told my dad, because my dad doesn't like drinking. He doesn't like to be around it. He quit like, like 20 years ago or something like that. So he don't like to be around it. So when he, you know, we have family gatherings and stuff, he's like, if y'all are going to drink, I'll hang out before you guys start drinking and then I'm gone. <laughs> um, plus he loves children. He adores children. So he had no problem with it. Okay. Then... This is a quack. What was I? Oh, my husband in the kitchen. I'm like, babe, they're fighting out there. Go do something. <laughs> He's like, oh, well, uh, who wants another drink? Who wants another round? You know. It's never a holiday or a Christmas Eve or whatever. In my family, there's not someone fighting. I was like, <laughs> so <clears throat> my older brother goes out there to, to assess the situation and comes back in. Mom, this is my third one. So it's my last, so don't worry. Okay, mama sauce, we're good. And, uh, So, <laughs> I'm poor like how would that done my sleeve? <laughs> That's gross. My brother comes in and he goes, um, oh no, 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 you know, Jason's handling it, it's fine, it's good. Mer I was about to say her name. <laughs> okay. I was about to say her name, so I had to edit that part out. Um, my sister-in-law, he said that uh, my brother's handling it. So I said, okay. See, I tried to pin my things back once. Okay, there we go. These are the only earrings I can wear, so. Then... 
Um, my niece comes in. She comes in because she ran out there to check on her. So she runs in and she comes up to me. And I'm in the kitchen with my husband. Like, I'm like, okay, you know, <laughs> fuck it. So, he, you know, we're both pouring each other shots or drinks or whatever. And... <clears throat> I'm about to take another shot with my husband in the kitchen and my niece comes in and she goes, Oh, um, Aunt Kristen, um, I just want to let you know that it, it's really bad out there between, um, your sister-in-law and your brother, Jason. You know, she didn't say that, but I'm hiding my sister-in-laws, you know, by her wishes. Um, it's really bad out there and I don't know what's going on, but like I hear your sister in law screaming and like I was like What? So then my brother, you know, my oldest brother comes walking in and he goes, um <sighs> See now I've taken shots like I don't want to eat anymore. <laughs> but there's so much food here. I'm gonna try these um crab enchiladas. So my brother comes in and he refused to tell me, of course, because, you know, he wants to keep the peace. So I overhear him because I'm in the kitchen and he's like off um, in the dining room area. And he's like telling my mom because my mom, you know, my mom, she don't like the drinking either. She can't stand it. But, you know, she likes to be the guardian, you know, like the, <laughs> the babysitter. <laughs> If you will over the adults when I drink so of course she stayed and my dad took you know the younger children off so of course my mother was there you know watching the scene so my oldest brother came in and said I overheard him in the kitchen because I have ears like a fucking hawk I really do and he comes in there and he goes he's like mom oh my god he goes I went out there to go check on them and I literally saw, I had to say my sister-in-law, I can't say her name, so, but he said her name. I literally saw um, my sister-in-law, me. <laughs> oh, well, it's his too, but my sister-in-law um, punch, punch my brother Jason in the face, like fucking clocked him. Yeah. So <clears throat> that's why there was all the yelling and the screaming because, um, yeah, my sister-in-law got so drunk and she was out of her mind and she was talking shit about me and she was cussing me out and calling me names and my brother, you know, Jason was out there like, you need to calm your ass down, calm the fuck down, what the fuck? Yeah, and she was like, she was yelling at us, telling us to shut up, blah, blah, blah. She's like, fuck that bitch. Fuck her. You know, there was worse words said, but I'm not going to say. <laughs> but anyway, so Marcus came in, you know, and he was telling my mom. And he was like, yeah, she's talking shit about Kristen out there and like cussing her out and calling her horrible names and saying that it's her fault that she's she reacted this way and got so pissed off. Let me try these. <laughs> This crab enchilada. <clears throat> mm. Never heard of a crab enchilada before. Wow. It's all pears too. That is for him. Mm. Third shot, mom. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, oh God. Oh, 
Let me tell you guys something about. My family. <clears throat> the men in my family, okay? Um, the men in my family have uh, mouthy problems, like, really bad, like, off the top. My brothers... They try to stay away from liquor because liquor really brings out the demons in them. Beer, not so much. Beer, you know, they're 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 cool, they're calm, they're collected. Um, but liquor, when it comes to any male in my family, is really bad, really bad. <clears throat> so. They mouth off. They they like to start fights on purpose. They get very aggressive. They get out of control, basically. So, anyways, okay, my brother came in, Marcus, and he was telling my mom, you know, what my sister-in-law did out there. She got so angry with my brother that she physically reared back, punched the sh shit out of him, clocked him right in the face with her fist. She fucking did. She did. And I think she did it twice. I think she did it twice. First time, he was, like, in shock. The second time, he was like, all right, bitch. So he grabs her from, you know, as she threw her next second punch and clocked him again, he grabs her by the arm, twists her around, and he held her from behind um, and grabbed her where her arms were restrained. You know what I mean? And he's like, you need to calm the fuck down. Why would you hit me like that? Why would you do that? Uh, he was just screaming going off. So then. <sighs> that just went all over my floor, but it's okay. Cheesy beans. I was drinking vodka, whiskey beer um wine coolers everything everything was there and i took i partook i partook i did because you know this is the, that's how i am none of that went into my mouth mm -hmm. it's totally right now So my alcoholic blood started boiling. If I if I was sober, I would be like, "Wow, you know that really hurts my feelings. Like, what the hell? You know what I mean? That's how it'd be." But because I was drunk off my ass, you got like Superman mentality. Fuck that bitch. Oh, what? She, oh, hell no. What she said? Okay. So you're out the door. You're ready to fight anybody, and you're ready to fuck anybody. <laughs> It's the truth. Liquid courage. So I, I go storming outside as soon as I hear my brother telling my mom this shit. And I see my brother, Jason, had already like let go of her. He sat her down on the curb outside and he's like, you better calm the fuck down right now. If you don't calm down, I'm calling the cops. You hit me twice. You better settle your ass down. He's like, I don't hate women, but if you were a man, I'd fuck you up right now. You know, he was going off on her. And so she started sobbing. She started bawling. So he left her. He's like, don't you fucking move. If you fucking move, I'm calling the cops on you. I'm going to have your ass arrested. I will tell him you hit me. <laughs> he was so mad. He wanted to fight her, but that's his wife and a woman. He wasn't going to do that. He's like, if you're a dude, I'd fuck you up right now. <laughs> but anyway, so he left. And then uh, by that time, my niece was out there with her, you know, holding her, comforting her. And she's sobbing on the curb. And I go running out there. And I'm like, literally, I go flying out of my house, my mother's house. <clears throat> 
somehow me and my brother bypassed each other without seeing each other it was frigid it was freezing it was uh <laughs> you know new year's eve and um so I didn't see him and he didn't see me because trust me, if my brother saw me flying out there like that, he would already know exactly what I was going to do and he would have, he would have stopped me. Oh my God, this thing is almost as big as I am. It's so good. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh my God. He goes in the house and I and I come out and um, I have in my mindset like I'm a because I was whiskey drunk I was vodka drunk I was wine drunk I was beer drunk so I had it in my head like you know I was thinking I'm gonna fuck this bitch up you just wait I'm gonna fuck her up i'm gonna beat the shit out of her i have never touched her you know but shit's about to go down so i started running i was running down the street and i see her she's in my my vision right i see her and my cut my niece is is like hugging her and she's crying i walked up to her and as soon as I was about to fl I was talking shit already because, you know, as soon as I was in running distance of seeing her, I'm like, bitch, you're talking shit about me. You're calling me this, calling me that. I will fuck you up. I will fucking beat your ass so bad. You don't even know what day it is tomorrow. And I was like flying at her. The next thing I know, she looks up at me and I grab her. I grab her by the fucking hair. Okay, she's she's sitting on the, on the curb side, the sidewalk curb. I grab her by the fucking hair and I lifted her up and, and like she she flew up. And then with my other hand, I went to I was going to fucking punch her out. I really was. <laughs> the next thing I know, my I have her hair like this and I'm ready to like hit her with this. Hand. <laughs> my hand gets captured and like restrained and pulled away. So I turn and I look and then I let go of her hair because I'm like shocked. I'm like, what the hell? And then I feel both of my arms go behind me. And then I feel like a bear hug, like my brother-in-law did to my sister-in-law. And I turn around and it's my son, Aaron. Aaron. He, he, somehow he heard that I was going out there to fight Marit. Somehow he heard that I was going out there to fight my sister-in-law. So he ran out there and he's like, oh, hell no. Because he, <laughs> he knows how I can get when I get drunk. <clears throat> That's Chili Reno. So he was the one that, um, yeah, he stopped me, grabbed me. And then he threw me down. He threw me down on the pavement, on the grass. He goes, mother, stop, stop right now. What the hell is wrong with you? And my sister-in-law is like, um, she collapsed on the, on the curb again and she's just sobbing. She just like, couldn't even believe it. And I'm, you know, of course I'm talking shit. She said this and she said that. I'm like, oh God, it's just drunk talk. It's all drunk talk. So <clears throat> he, my son, my son he picks me up he literally picks me up and he throws me over his shoulder I'm not kidding you it's, it's the truth and uh chili reno mm. He brings me into, <coughs> oh God, oh, that was a little spicy. He brings me into the house and he slams me on the couch because he knows how messed up I am. And he's like, mother, calm down. Like, what the hell is wrong with you? 
I was like, no, I'm calm, I'm calm, I'm calm. You know, because your mood switches like that when you're drunk. When you're that drunk, it does. You'll go from wanting to, like, King Kong everybody in sight to, like, oh, my God, I love you. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, no, I'm cool, I'm fine. Oh, my God, Aaron, you want a drink? <laughs> oh, God. Anyways, so I said, no, I'm, I'm cool, I'm fine. But, I, yeah. So we got my brother, my sister-in-law out there fighting. We got me attacking my sister-in-law. And then once I was stopped and got to the house, um, excuse me. Everything started calming down after that. And then my, um, my husband and my oldest brother, Marcus, um, they were out on the front porch after everything calmed down and, you know, everything was good. Um, my sister-in-law apologized to me and, you know, I'm so sorry. She was crying. I said, it's okay. I was crying, you know, because that's how it goes when you're drunk. So then, um, everything started calming down. Then my brother-in-law, what the fuck? No, excuse me. My brother and my husband and my mother and my um, brother's girlfriend go out into the front, front patio front. Um, They start like drinking and smoking and talking. They're smoking cigarettes. Um, my mom was just out there, you know, hanging out, talking and stuff like that. But uh, my brother, his girlfriend, and my husband smoke, so they're out there smoking. with my sister-in-law you know like doing that I'm sorry I love you oh my god I love you too drunk shit you know what I mean like so stupid <laughs> I love you so much I would die for you oh my god that's what we're doing <clears throat> and then my brother my oldest brother Marcus and my husband were talking out there you know everybody's laughing you know everything's cool and then um I'm on the couch with my sister-in-law literally like probably like five feet from the front door where they were at smoking and then um <clears throat> I'm not gonna make this video longer than what it is because it's already long enough but I was gonna do a then and now, but no. So what what took place outside was they were smoking, talking, laughing, whatever. And all of a sudden, my brother, my oldest brother, you know, he he gets his liquid courage about him. He gets his wits about not wits because you don't have wits when you're drinking. But he gets his like you know, I'm I'm King Kong, motherfuckers. I'll fuck anybody up. You talk shit. You say one thing. Yo, did. You know what I mean? You get that thing about you when you're drinking. Male or female, it happens. So <laughs> he he's looking at my he's looking at my husband and he goes, I'm gonna tell you something right now, Brennan. I'm gonna tell you something right now. And Brennan's like, What's up? You know, they're smoking cigarettes, drinking. And my brother's like, you know, when when you first married my sister, I wasn't cool with it. I didn't like it. Um, I really never liked you and I, I thought you were not good for my sister and um, <clears throat> To be honest with you uh, I felt like uh, you were No different from any other person she has been with or the last person she married And um, My husband's like 
Oh, yeah? <laughs> and then my mom goes, whoa, okay. You know, she's like, um, son, uh, where are you going with this? Like, uh, this is not necessary. Like, you know, she's she trying to, you know. <laughs> so... My mom's like, son, this is not the time. This is New Year's Eve, family time. We're having a good time. Mm, let's not go there. So my brother was like, no, I'm gonna get this out. You know, I, I've been wanting to say this for a long time and I'm gonna say it now. So he goes, to be honest with you, I think you're really a piece of shit. And I think that you're no different from her ex. And I, I don't know, I'm just gonna tell the truth right now. That's how I feel. He goes, you're no different from so-and-so, which is my, you know, my ex-husband. I'm not gonna say his name, but he's like, you're no different from so-and-so. And I and I think that, you know, uh, I look at you and, and just think of him and it makes me sick that you're, you know, with my sister and doing that and, you know, whatever. So my husband was like, is that so motherfucker? He threw his cigarette out. He like dropped his drink and he went at him. Oh my God. This was after me and my sister-in-law had it out in the parking lot and my sister-in-law punched my brother in the face twice. And then I got my husband and my oldest brother fighting in the front yard. My husband lunges at him, tackles him, throws his ass on the ground, and then my brother, like, goes to get up to, you know, like, handle his business, whatever, and then my mom and my brother's girlfriend are both jumped at them. They rip them two apart. Um, everybody is so fucking wasted drunk, so let me just remind you guys of that. This is not normal behavior. So, <clears throat> my husband tackled my brother on the ground. My brother got so pissed. No, I'm sorry. Strike, we went. Rewind that. Um, after my husband said, oh, is that right? That's how, that's, that's how you think I am. That, that's how you look at me and, and view me. So, my husband threw his cigarette down and he like put his drink down. Then the next thing he knows, my brother is charging him and pushed him, pushed him like hard. So then my husband comes back at him, throws his ass on the ground. And then that's when my mother and my um, brother's girlfriend intervene. Yeah, to get in, you know, in between them. So I'm on the couch, you know, with my sister-in-law and um my youngest brother is also in the living room with my oldest you know sons 18 19 22 and um so we hear commotion we hear fighting we hear like shit going on so like what okay so i run out there i was like oh my god something's happening so i go out there and um, I open the front door and I see my brother on the ground, my husband on top of him and my mother and, and my brother's girlfriend pulling them apart. So then me and my brother <laughs> go out there and we're getting involved and we're pulling them apart. Then we end up rolling into the house. Uh, me and my brother, Jason, my youngest brother, grab my husband because he's huge. He's huge, you guys. We grab him. We pull him. Actually happened to drag him in the house. Um, and my brother's oldest brother's girlfriend has him contained in the front yard. And she's like, stop, stop, stop. You know, trying to talk to him. She's crying, whatever. And then I have, me and my brother have my husband constrained on the living room floor and I jump on top of my husband and I <laughs> he's on his back, right? My brother grabbed him but like by the collar and threw him down and like he's like, Brandon, 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 stop it. No one's gonna hurt you, no one's trying to fight you. 
this, this is fucking ridiculous. You know, this is this is New Year's Eve. This is need to be taking place. Calm the fuck down, brother. Calm down. I'm your brother. I love you. Calm down. So my husband's head spinning because he's fucking drunk. So then I push my brother off of my husband. And I'm like, fuck you. And I go, I'm going to take care of this motherfucker. <laughs> I jump on top of my husband and I straddle him and I start choking him. I'm not even kidding you. This is exactly what happened. I'm not kidding, guys. Oh. Mmm. Hmm. Those shredded brisket tacos are freaking to die for. I'm not kidding. Look at that. So I'm on top of my husband, startling him, one leg um, over another, and I'm choking him. I'm literally choking him. Not trying to like kill him for God's sake, or you know, really like take his breath away, but I, I add a little pressure. Um, I said, stop it, stop it, because my husband was the biggest motherfucker at that house, at that party, he could have demolished everybody. So, uh, but then, it, but then again, I knew he was really, really drunk. So, um, look at my neck. See, pull my neck all the time. But I was scared. I was scared. So I started choking him a little bit, and I was on top of him, and I'm like, "They don't stop it right now. We're gonna call the cops. Stop! Stop! Stop!" I started crying, and he wasn't even moving. He was just looking at me like. Are you serious? You're like a Barbie doll on top of me right now. Like, your pressure choking me is doing nothing. <laughs> he was basically laughing at me. He, he started smiling. <laughs> and I'm like, stop it! So, anyways, um, <clears throat> my son, my son Aaron, comes in the house. And he's like, the neighbors called the cops. And then my brother... Jason, my youngest brother, he grabs me because he sees me choking my husband out. You know, not out, but he sees me choking him. He's like, Kristen, what the fuck? So he comes over there and he grabs me and he pulls me off of him and he tosses me. He like throws me like a half a mile, like a fucking football, you know, to the other couch. Like I, I flew across to the other couch. And then um, my brother picks up my husband off the floor. <laughs> Are you guys paying me to see the food? Like, okay. I'm glad I think I'm done. I'm done. Mm -mm. I'm done. Anyway, so. As soon as my brother threw me on the other couch and my son ran in, Aaron, and said, Someone call the cops. The neighbors call the cops. So we heard sirens. Um, my, my brother grabs me off. He throws me across the living room to the next couch. I bounce off the couch. I fall on the floor. I hit my head. And lights out. I was done. <laughs> I was like... I see Tweety Birds, right? Not that I hit my head that hard, but I was just that drunk. So, I'm laying on the living room floor, and I'm like, hold on, I swallow that bite. I'm like, I was out. Passed out. And then, I just knocked over a whole freaking thing of sour cream. I mean, guacamole. And then as soon as my husband Here's the word cops, you know, because he's in the military. Like, no, <laughs> he jumps. My okay, before that, my brother come after he, my brother threw me. He goes up there to my husband and he he picks up my husband by the arms. He's like, dude, dude, calm down, 
we love you, you know, calm down. Let's just sit in this chair. He picks up, puts him in the chair. He's like, you're right, you need some water? I'm going to get you some water, you know. And my husband's like, no, I'm good, I'm good. And then that's when, you know, my husband finally related to the fact that the cops are coming. He goes, cops, what? Cops? So my husband flies <laughs> off the couch. He runs upstairs. He belts upstairs and he goes flying and ditching under my niece's bed. Like, cause my niece has a really like large high bed. So <clears throat> the clearance like that is like enough for a large person to go underneath. So he sees, he darts under the bed and he rolls to the like the wall and he's like hiding, you know, because in the military, you, you'll get in serious trouble for that. But anyway, <clears throat> I end up waking up seconds later after I was on the living room floor. I woke up and I was like, where the fuck is my husband? And then, you know, like my Aaron, my son was like, mom, Brandon ran upstairs. The cops been called. You were trying to choke him out. Um, Aunt so and so, you know, punched Uncle Jay in the face twice. Uh, shit's going down, and you know we're all about to go to jail. <laughs> this was our New Year's Eve party, you guys. After the Applebee's Wingstop video, this is the shit that went down. You have to watch that video, but the volume is so terrible. So I'm just warning you now. But yeah. So um, it came to find out that the call cop was a rumor. No one called the cops. I don't know who made that up. I don't know if it was somebody just saying that because they wanted the shit and drama to end. I don't know. But n nobody called the cops. <clears throat> they didn't. So, I don't know. It's really... I'm sorry, I'm trying to get that in view. But that was our first family um, get-together that, you know, because normally we spend the holidays apart seeing this side, seeing that side, and we're never, ever really together. My mother, during the whole time of it, she was like running back and forth trying to, you know, stop this fight, stop that fight, stop <laughs> this fight, that fight. Then at the end, at the very end, um, my oldest son shows up. My oldest son, because he had to work on New Year's Eve, believe it or not, so he couldn't, he didn't get off till really late. So... As he's pulling up in the driveway, my oldest son, with his wife, he's seeing people running, people chugging liquor, people fighting, people screaming, yelling. He comes out of the car, he goes, what the hell's going on? And I said, I was crying. <laughs> I said, we're leaving. Everybody's fighting. Oh my God. My oldest brother, Marcus, said... I'm going to kill that motherfucker. I'm going to kill your husband. He's dead. And then my husband was like, I'm going to kill that motherfucker. He's dead. Like they were threatening each other. So I, yeah, it was a really bad. <laughs> Anyways, this video is uh, right now before I edit. I'm taking these fake earrings off. <laughs> my Christmas balls for my Christmas tree, you guys. Anyways, um, yeah, this video right now is a hundred and a hundred, an hour and 30 minutes. So, all right, I'm gonna have to cut like half this video off. I hope you enjoyed this video and the story time and please go check out that video. I'm going to link it in my description box for you guys, or I'll have it, no, better yet, I'll have it right here or right here. So you guys don't have to go to my description box. You can either click right here, right here. The video will be up for you then. Or maybe I'll do both. Whatever. I don't know. I'm going to take more shots. <laughs>
But this food was fabulous. It was featured on Food Network, like I said, and it was amazing, delicious. I have so much more food here, and I really need to stop here because my family is waiting for the leftovers. So, yeah. I told them, oh, I'm not going to be long. I'll be in there for like 30 minutes, and you guys, they haven't eaten dinner yet. So, they're hungry, and they're waiting for this food. So, I'm going to go and let them eat all this. But I have right there um, two humongous crab enchiladas. I have all this food. I have all the sauces. I didn't even eat the tortillas. They have homemade tortillas at this place. I didn't even touch one. All those chips. And look at all of this food. So this is going for my family. I hope you enjoy the story time. And I'm a little litty. <laughs> I love you guys. I will see you in the next video and um, go to my description box below. Yo, cut a water bottle. And I love you all. Stay safe, bless wherever you're at in the world. And always keep that shit saucy. Okay. Done. All right. Um, I guess that's it. Okay, love you guys. Bye. Oh my god, what's going on here? Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. My God, it's always a freaking mess. You should see around me right now. The floor, the table, everything. <laughs> this is not easy, you guys. I'm done. I'm done, I'm fucking done. I'm ripping everything off. I'm done. Oh my God, it feels so good. Look, see? I try to be like, yeah, these flowers were behind my head. <laughs> I didn't want them showing because hello. It's fucking that summer right now. Aloha. Don't need to be that. Okay. Whew. See, look at this hair. Beast. <laughs> well, my family's eating this food. Me and Esther is going to have a little extra time. Whatever you are, I don't care. Oh my God, I have so much shit around me. It's pissing me off. <clears throat> this hair. Yeah, look at this hair. That's why I always have it up. Okay, bye.